Hey there, welcome to the Yoga Shala and to this Yoga Flow workout. We're going to be doing quite a lot of down dogs today. That's going to be the focus of our practice. So I just want you to be aware of that in case you have any wrist, elbow or shoulder issues, in case you have any needs to modify through down dog, then please use dolphin, use all fours, hands and knees, just omit them all together, just do what you can. Okay, let's step up to the top of our mat. Just take a moment to earth ourselves, to center ourselves, to ground, and just come in to being. Take a breath in, lifting the arms and drawing the energy in and down. Deliver it to your heart and just allow it to rest here for a moment. And then give back, send energy out and gently fold forwards. Just coming into a little forward hang here, first one of the day maybe. So just seeing how everything feels, rolling up through the spine, drawing up to your full height, gathering in again, and drawing down. And reach it away, little back bend, opening your heart, flowing forwards into that forward fold. Seeing how this feels, maybe hug the thumbs into the elbows, and just hang like a rag doll this hairpin pose. Let's roll up through the spine. Let's do that one more time. Three is always a good number. And send it out. Bigger back bend if you have it now. And then flowing forwards. Lift halfway. Just release off that nice straight back, straight legs. Feel that reach between the coccyx and the crown. And on an out breath, release and relax back down. Take a step back with your right leg. And just come into a high lunge, Anjani Asana. Bring the fingertips to the earth. And then lower the back knee down, releasing off the toes. Anchor the right hand as you reach to the sky. Little twist here. Float the hand down on the inside and just manipulate into this hip. Remember we're still warming up. We're just allowing the body to experiment, to explore. And then step back to kneeling. Separate the hands. Bittilasana, Marjorie Asana, cat and cow. Rolling through the spine. And again. And again. Start to pull back through the hips. Come up into child's pose and sit yourself back down. Front cat. And then roll through into that cow. So again, turn over cat pose. Sit back into child and roll through into cat. And just close your eyes. Feel the rhythm. Connect. And you just allow yourself to notice how this feels for you. Let's just do a couple more. Keep going with it if you're well into this and enjoying the flow. Otherwise, you can just sit yourself back into maybe a wide leg child, come low, feel the ground. If you prefer a more traditional child's pose with the knees together then, please just do what feels good for you. Bring the hands underneath, bring the knees back together. And let's just tuck the toes under and roll through those feet. So just allowing ourselves to warm up the feet. Plantar fascia, the tarsal joints. That was just my knee there as well. So you know all of these joints waking up and saying hello. And then slowly climb into a really soft down dog, Adho Svanasana. So bend your knees, place your belly on your thighs, not pushing too much here, just allowing yourself 
to settle into this gentle expression. And then draw your right heel down towards the ground, lengthening the back of the right leg. And then releasing that nice and slow. I always see people when they're pedaling like this, like they're in the Tour de France. You know, going L for leather. And we don't need to do that, just a real inquiry of how low that heel can go. Feel the stretch. If you're pedaling away, like you're in some sort of race, you're going to miss all of those signals that your body gives you. It's just going to bypass them. Let's just do this once more each side. Again, remembering that you can come down onto all fours if you need to. Let's take a wander up to the top of the mat. And just hold here, seeing if that forward fold has deepened opened, changed, and then slowly stacking the spine, gather up, draw in, and down. We'll take it on the left, reach up, back bend, see how that feels now, open your heart, releasing through, swan dive, forward fold. Hook the thumbs, Release the arms, let go, wriggle and wiggle, explore. And then releasing off, lift halfway into that tabletop. Ardha Uttanasana, before exhaling back down into Uta. Take your left leg away, come into Anjaniasana here. Lift your heart, look forwards, remembering to smile. And then bringing the left knee down and the left hand, raise the right hand to the sky. See if you can stack the shoulders, reaching, touching the sky, touching the earth. Be that bridge between these two. Bring the hands down inside and roll out that hip supinating and pronating the foot to move into the hip joint. And then affording the same consideration on both sides, step back into your four point kneel and just work through that spine again. your way through all of the movements, noticing how it feels in one position as opposed to the other. Maybe slow it down, hold it here and see how it is and then slowly turn it over and hold it here and see how it is and then release. Bring yourself back into pose of a child. Slightly different this time. Just move your way out towards the left, stretching the right side of your body. And then back to center, move over to the right, stretching the left side of your body. Coming through to center, kick up into down dog. And again, just thinking about those heels, just rising onto the toes and then placing all of the toes down, bring the heels down towards the mat. So imagine that you're like some ballet dancer coming up onto tippy toes and then rolling your feet down and stretching the legs, raising up and lowering down. Let's do one more please. Raising up and drive those heels down and then a little wander to the top of your mat, coming all the way up, forward fold, let it go, see if this has changed, just let it go here, make sure you're all really flaccid and then climb and rise through the spine, lifting and gathering drawing in and on and bringing it back into your heart and then releasing. Go 
good work. So we're going to do some work with the down dogs. We're going to do single leg dogs. We might throw in some wild things, some uh, dog tail flips. So let's just have a little go with it, see how it feels for you. If you're happy with what you're doing, do it. If you don't, if you're not sure, if you're, you know, have a bit of fear or scared of it, then please leave it out. Take a breath in. Fold forwards. Rise up halfway. And release. Stepping back with the right leg. Step back again with the left. Straight back into downward facing dog. Oops. And just allow yourself to settle into your dog here. A few breaths. See where there's areas of tension. See where you need to release. Head looking back towards the feet. Letting it just dingle dangle here. Pressing through. Looking for two straight lines. There's a tendency for people to load into the arms here. So you get this line up to the shoulder and then a break at the shoulder and a line back to the hip. If this is you, just practice softening your knees and pushing yourself back and then you can work on straightening the legs. So we're looking for this inverted V. We're looking for this kind of mountain shape. Two straight lines, hands to hips, heels to hips. Now raise your right leg into the sky, lifting it up and just stretching it away. And then on an out breath, let it float down. Have your toes quite close together as you do this, making the point of your triangle, keeping your base nice and solid. Raise the left leg. And lower it down. Make sure your dog is good as you raise your right leg again, this time bending your knee. And I'm looking to keep my pelvis neutral. I'm not opening my pelvis, keeping my pelvis down. Reach the leg back and lower. And take a breath. And as you exhale, reach that left leg towards the sky. Bend the knee, keeping everything as neutral as you can. Reach it away and draw it down. Let's roll out into plank. Bring it onto knees and sit back into child's pose. Take a moment here, releasing the hands, wrists, shoulders and elbows. Let's reach the hands forwards, draw up onto all fours, find your footprint for your down dog, turn your toes under and lift back here. Again, bring those toes into the centre, make that solid base. Raise your right leg to the sky. Bend the knee and this time open your hip, drawing your foot towards the ground and your knee towards the sky. Try not to dump into this left elbow, keep the arms nice and strong. Centralise the pelvis, reach away and change. Raise the left leg, bend the knee, open the hip into kicking donkey. And then centralise the pelvis, reach the leg, come down. Beautiful work, roll out into plank, holding here, lower onto your knees, release your toes, sit back into pose of a child. And just take a moment's rest, we're going to do that again, I'm going to walk you through the little wild thing. So reach your hands forwards. Come into that footprint of down dog. So let yourself find that square, solid shape. Tuck the toes under and lift into down dog. Draw the toes together at the back of the mat. And raise your right leg into the sky. Hips in neutral. Bend the knee. And we're going to open the hip, looking out. Bring the pelvis back into neutral, drawing the knee down. Transfer forwards into a three-point plank. Crossing this leg underneath, set it around about the same place as your right foot out to the right side. And then you're going to turn through as you lift away. Bring the hand back down, pivot on the toes, raise the leg into three-legged dog and bring it down. 
readjust your position if you've warmed it up and prepare for side two elevate the left leg bend the knee and open the hips and then bring it in transfer forwards cross that leg over and settle it down and as you pivot round equal weight through the legs as you reach bring that hand down pivot on the toes left leg to the sky and release transfer into plank and let yourself come back into a pose of child hold it here release let go and absorb your vibrations just letting yourself surrender to the strength of those postures when you're ready reach those hands forwards and draw yourself back up onto all fours make your way up into your down face dog bring your toes together at the center of your mat and pause here raise your right leg into the sky pelvis neutral bend the knee open and twist the pelvis driving that right toe down towards the left side this time let it drag you over roll into and you can straighten that leg and then bring it through and up and release down settle into dog come into child if you need to just going to make my way over a little, I'm not sure of the room I have here. Maybe I'll come down. Here we go. Raise your left leg into the sky. Bend the knee and open the pelvis. And then just feel like that foot is taking you over as you reach away. Dog tail flip, bring it back. Roll out into plank. Come onto knees and sit yourself back. Take a breath. Rise from here and just take a moment. How are you doing? You've got enough room in your lounge room to flip. You're able to do the wild thing. Just have a little play with it. One of the things to remember is when you're in either of those postures is that the feet are flat on the ground and the knees are over the ankles. So we're in this kind of reverse tabletop or extended through, but this is a nice solid base. So you can just make sure that You've got this. There's a tendency sometimes to stay sort of a bit twisted and that can put pressure on your knees or your ankles or your toes. So when you come through, when you twist, your feet are in line and you roll around, plant your heels on the ground, have your knees in line and then lift through. So just make sure that you're getting that great solid foundation for your posture. Let's make our way back into down dock. And just walk the feet to the hands, back into that Uttanasana. Rise and climb through the spine, gathering and drawing down. And releasing off. Taking a breath. Breathe in, reach up, draw the energy into your heart, close your eyes, hold those vibrations there. Think about what you've achieved in this practice today. Maybe you've done something you haven't done in a while. Maybe you've done something you haven't done ever. Maybe you didn't quite get it today, but you've got the ability to rewind and try again. If you've enjoyed this workout, please like, share and subscribe. In the meantime, just remains for me to say, Namaste.